Oh, before we begin, I just wanted to let you guys know, I figured out how it is you're supposed to open these uh, sealed up walk, rock wall passage areas in uh, the area before Annette's boss fight, stage 7. What you're supposed to do, use the dagger to get that candle which has the holy water. Then use the holy water to break that which has the axe in it. Continue on down here and use the axe to break this wall which has the cross in it. Get up there, Richter. And then use the cross to break that which has the timepiece in it. It should be noted that you have to destroy them exactly like that. You can't use the axe on this wall. You can't use the holy water on the wall with the uh, cross in it. You have to break them in, the, in that order. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that before I forgot. So, let's move on. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania The Dracula X Chronicles. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 10. And before we begin, I would like to give a special thank you to the Lord of Lizards, Siam I Am, and David Wright for supporting me with donations. Thank you guys for being awesome. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, and keep being awesome. Now, when last we left off, we completed the alternate path to stage one, we are now officially on the alternate path that will lead us to save the maidens, which will lead to the good ending of the game. There are technically three paths in this level. One that will take us back to the normal path, one that will keep us on the alternate path, and one that will let us skip straight to alternate level three. We're not going to do the alternate level three skip, we're just going to continue through. And I see you over there, Mr. Scaly Man. I never forgot about you. Normally it takes two hits to take him out. You can also use the cross to take him out in one hit. Pretty simple. No, 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 no. I don't want the axe for this part. What? Well, the game seems to think that I should have the axe. Okay, I really don't want the axe. I was just trying to get close enough to kill that guy. <laughs> Screw up the bone! It's okay. It's all part of being a professional Let's Player, children. Let's play his curse. You swear you're good at a game and then suddenly you start making mistakes you would never make on camera. It's amazing. When I say amazing, I meant amazingly annoying. But it's okay, you deal with it the best you can. Because you're trying to put on a good show, you're trying to make people happy and entertained, and you don't want to look like a dumbass. I swear I know how to do this. It's just the moment that camera's pointed at you. And you know this is an early level because those bone things only take two hits to kill instead of three. Hmm. No, no, I want that. If you attack too early, he'll back off. So if you kind of wait a few seconds... Just wait, just wait. Ah, oh, one second here. Ah, oh, got something in my eye. Ah. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, no. Good thing I was pressing down when that happened, or dropping down from the jump, or I might have recoiled and fallen off. Then I would have been mad. Wait for it. We need him credits. Now, don't worry about not being able to get up there. Just drop down here, grab the holy water, and make your way up the bridge. He's a smart, scaly man. But as you can see, I don't think the holy water is quite as effective as the cross. Hey, you know what I want to do real quick? Nothing, because I can't jump over there. Never mind. Maria could, but we're not playing as Maria today. Rickety bridge, rickety bridge! And now I'm cursed because I decided to be stupid.
technically, I think you could stay here forever because these little... Oh, that was close. The little walking skeletal skull thingies actually will continue to spawn infinitely, I believe. So if you were patient enough, I think you could technically stay here forever. Okay. Now, if I'm remembering this correctly, I think to get down to the alternate path, you'll need to jump down there. However, just to make sure I'm not going to make a fool of myself, I'm going to make a quick save. So one moment, please. Okay, so I think what you can do... Is it down here? Now I'm not sure. Can I just drop down here like this? Yes! There we go. And then, of course, there's a big-ass guard over here who does not appreciate our intrusion. Basically, he's a souped-up axe knight, but with a sword. You know what? I got these hearts. Might as well use them. I'm trying not to get hit by this guy because he usually does hit me, and it hurts. And you get a 1-up for your efforts. And thus we make it to the alternate path. Definitely want the skeleton. The skeleton? Definitely want the cross for this fight. Fully healed, we've got this, we're good to go. I should point out, this is probably my least favorite of all the Castlevania bosses in this game. Say hello to the Bone Golem! The only way you can hit him is in the head, because, yeah, that's fun. Hmm. Please, no, no, don't hit me with fire! Okay, form two, and this form is probably the douchiest. Again, you can only hit him in the head, but if you touch him, you get cursed. Oh, and he's dropping skeletal bombs, because sure, why not? Ah. Okay, that was some bullshit. I hate this form so much. What? Uh, I hate this guy. Don't be panicked by his final form. Whenever he takes hits, he'll actually speed up. And it looks dangerous, but you can actually stay safe on the right side. You can also jump on top of him. So you are totally safe, believe it or not. All you have to do is stay calm, and you'll have it. And now we make our way to alternate stage 3, where we can finally save the Maiden and begin the path proper. Well, not begin the path proper, but yes. 
So that is it for this episode, everyone. Thank you for watching, and remember, when you're faced with a boss, always stay calm. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. If this is your first time on the channel, then welcome aboard, and please consider clicking that shiny little subscribe button down below the video. Also, a quick reminder that I am running a Patreon campaign, so if you'd like to support the channel, I'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks again, guys, and remember to keep being awesome.